long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. Welterweight Championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda. You've been up your hands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. 
Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand count. Back and forth we go here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Slips the punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nurmago Medov. Come on, push through it. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. 27 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And that was a lead elbow. So he's mixing everything up. Boy, Thai Plump. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice leg kick there by Nurmago Medov. Beautiful strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Well, he where as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. It's such a fast leg kick. Punch over the top. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Slips to avoid the right. That shot blocked by Nurmago Medov. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Into the final minute of this championship fight. And that one certainly found the target. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just out of range with that right hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Five minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. All right, let's go. Let's set up that low kick now. Huge block there. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, high-level stuff there as he blocks the strike and counters with a jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. What a punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Lunges forward with a left there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good stick. Oh, a huge block there. Single collar tie now. Dig and kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice head kick. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Ooh, big shot lands. There's no give on that leg kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Uh, splits the guard lanes the right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Block that kick to the body. Beautiful leg kick throw. Beautiful kick. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. That was a thudding leg kick. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown without issue. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at that whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Leg kick. He blocks the punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Nice kick. I want to see those takedowns. Visibly limping here. Let's go. It's going to be first now. Real quick leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Punch is blocked. Nice leg kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Nice punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Nice, sneaky head kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. That's a big strike right there. Always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Metal. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nermago Metal gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Checks that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Nice. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. How good is that right hand? Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Rips the body there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out 
but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You cannot let him keep tearing off on your body. You've got to protect that body. Keep your elbows in tight. Stay All right, the action continues here and now as our right. next round gets right. underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Let's go. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Just misses with the left hook. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Big head kick lands. He can't even, he can barely stand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Real sneaky body kick. Nice kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice body kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just over three minutes to go. And he caught the kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big punch land. Nurmago Medov's kick is blocked. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmago Medov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Big kick lands. Just over two minutes to go in the round. That shot blocked by Nurmago Medov. Nice body kick right into the open. Hard shots landing on both sides here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Unable to connect with the right. Single collar tie here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Big leg kick land. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, effective strike there by Nurmago Medov. Power shot there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Knee to the body. Nice kick there by Nurmago Meadow. 
big straight left. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big head kick. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. By way of the TKO, there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world, celebrating with his team. And that is a celebration, folks, that figures to continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO! There's a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship at every step. He looked fantastic. And tonight, that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion.